Greetings everyone. In today's video we will quickly learn how you can fix installation fail. Could not create a directory on a WordPress website. So basically, we will resolve this issue. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now on our WordPress website, we could not install any plugins. Let me go to our website's dashboard. So here we are. If I go to plugins and add new. So while trying to install any plugins, it gives an error could not create directory. Hence, I cannot install plugins despite the plugin being compatible with the WordPress version. So to resolve this issue, we must access our site's root directory. You can do this using FTP or cPanel. We have a cPanel hosting, and I am already logged into the cPanel. On the cPanel, go to File Manager. The layout of your cPanel might be different. Anyway, click on it. And now we need to locate our website files, which are usually under public underscore HTML. So here are all our site files. Now go to wp-content folder. Here we need to check the file permission for the plugins folder. Currently, the permission is 644. It actually should be 755. To change it, right click and click on change permissions. Tick execute on user. Also for group and for the world too and change permissions. So the permission is 755. Let's try installing the plugins. Let me refresh the page and install a plugin. So it is installed and as well activated. The same issue arises if there is no plugin folder. Let me delete the plugin folder I'll refresh this. If I try installing the plugin, we receive the same issue. So to fix this, we need to add a plugin folder here. Click on folder and give the name plugins. Create a new folder. Make sure the permission is 755 and not 644 as earlier or else please change it. So again, let me refresh this and try to install the plugin. So this works well good. So this is how you can resolve installation fail. Could not create directory on a WordPress website. Thank you very much.